Say hello to Super Air R Spherical, our most advanced removable chin bar helmet ever. Offering uncompromising performance and versatility, the Super Air R means you don't have to choose between confidence and breathability. The all new two click chin bar system makes the switch between climbing and descending even more streamlined. The Super Air R is the first ever trail helmet to offer spherical technology. Spherical combines two different materials, EPS and EPP, to help better manage both high and low speed impacts. The ball and socket design powered by MIPS helps redirect impact forces away from the brain by allowing the outer liner to rotate around the inner liner during a crash. The Super Air R is the next step in head protection, making it an important tool for any trail rider. Featuring 26 vents and four brow ports, the Super Air R is optimized to draw heat away from your head. The float fit system offers wide range vertical and width adjustments, providing you the comfort Bell is known for. Weighing in at only 640 grams, the Super Air R is 144 grams lighter than its predecessor designed to disappear on your head so you can stay focused on hitting the trail. Our newest addition to the Superline yet again redefines what a trail helmet can be. We are pioneers of removable chin bar technology. The Super Air R continues that legacy. This is the next evolution of the Super Platform. This is Super Air R Spherical. Welcome to Oakley Pro Tips. I'm Mike Turner, Category Manager here at Oakley, and today we're going to talk about the Dirt 5 Trail Helmet. The Dirt 5 Helmet was designed and developed in collaboration with Greg Minar, who's been a longtime Oakley athlete and a downhill mountain bike world champion. We set out to solve eyewear integration as well as eyewear storage and sweat management inside the helmet. The design starts with increased coverage in the sides and in the rear compared to our traditional Aero Series of Cycling Helmets. The design language is very clean in the front and it gets a little busy as things move to the back. A feature consistent across all of our cycling helmets is a BOA 360 degree fit system featuring a nice textile lace which really helps with eyewear integration over the ear. This is a space where there's commonly multiple parts of the helmet and the eyewear that are competing together and with the nice textile lace things can fit naturally. The 360 degree BOA fit system also is height adjustable to make sure you find a proper placement on the back of the head. The feature we're most excited about is located at the back of the helmet and it's called the eyewear landing zone. This is a great place to stow your eyewear and it doesn't impede in the flow of air if you were to stow your eyewear in the front of the helmet. After you've stowed your shades in the eyewear landing zone, you can lock down the mechanical arms to be sure the glasses are nice and secure. Another nice feature to the eyewear landing zone is that the clips are removable if you decide that you don't want to ride the helmet with the clips installed. 
At the front of the helmet in the brow, we feature a silicone sweat guard. This sweat guard has this nice rib detail, which is really good for collecting sweat and diverting it away from center of the face and down the sides of your face. This is in an effort to keep your eyewear streak free and clear. The silicone sweat guard is removable and machine washable, and the helmet also comes with a traditional ecstatic brow pad. Looking under the hood, you can see that the helmet is built and designed around a MIPS brain protection system. This is really good for any rotational impacts that might cause additional force to the brain in an impact. On the exterior of the helmet, we feature an articulating visor that has over 60 degrees of articulation. This is really important for those riders who like to wear a goggle. You can lift the visor up out of the way and get a goggle stored on the front of the helmet. So here's my favorite pro tip for the Dirt 5. Next time you catch a flat tire, instead of taking your glasses off, tucking them on your shirt or on the front of your bike where they might fall into the dirt, pull them off, stow them in the eyewear landing zone where they're secure, change your tire, and get back to riding. With its increased coverage, impactful, and rich features, the Dirt 5 is the next trail helmet for you. Name is uh, Mods Haugen, nickname Machen. This, my friends, is Rampage. Machen Haugen. Doing the stuff that we do on bikes, if you want to keep on doing it, you need to stay safe. Working with Sweet and working with Stall it makes me realize the importance of a helmet and a good helmet. And this time, we made a helmet that uh, you can use for all the genres of bike riding. And um, I think that Stall it nailed it. My name is Stolle. I'm Director of Design and Development at Sweet Protection, and I'm happy to introduce the Arbitrator helmet. We wanted to create a full-face convertible helmet without making any compromises. A full-on downhill racing helmet in full-face mode, and a really good trail helmet without the chin guard. It has taken us years to accomplish this, but now we're here and we're really happy to show the end result. So the Arbitrator consists of two different parts the main helmet, which is a EPS in-mold construction. And then the lower chin guard is made out of pre-preg carbon fiber. The main part of the helmet has an internal structure, which is made out of a Citel thermoplastic material. This internal skeleton or frame goes throughout the whole helmet to make sure that you have a very strong and rigid construction. So starting out with the top, you have an adjustable visor, so you can park your goggles underneath the visor. Now I want to show you how we remove the chin guard. So basically what you have to do is to unlock this lever and then you fold it down like this and then you can easily take off the chin guard. And then you have the arbitrator in trail mode. Here you can see there are even more vents being exposed. You have what we call stack vents, which channels air past the arteries to cool down your head very efficiently when climbing. And then as well, it comes standard with the MIPS system, which is there to reduce rotational forces on the brain. You have as well a reinforced grip turn dial system to adjust the size. And these pads comes in two different thicknesses, so you can adjust the fit according to your liking. And then when you want to go downhill racing, you take the chin guard. Inside of here, you have two stainless steel tabs on each side that slots into the Citel internal frame of the helmet. And then you have carbon fiber tabs that goes into slots inside the internal frame and transfers any load from one part to the other, makes it an incredibly strong construction. For one size, we've impacted the, around 60 helmets. What about the crack there? We tested with the curbstone anvil exactly in the middle of the crack and nothing happened. I'll show you the test. And then finally to lock it, you simply flick the lever and then you lock it in place. And the last operation is that you tuck away the chin strap in trail mode and the chin guard comes with a separate chin strap and you have the same fit, the same features as you would on any downhill racing helmet. Shaking hours of settle down, 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 down To go the hell that you need Felt amazing, man. It's a huge upgrade on fit and it, it looks a lot better than the previous helmet and uh, 
got comfortable in it right away. Definitely, uh, definitely happy with it. Welcome to the Scott Sports Experimental Lab. Introducing a new helmet. Stegel. 